Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President William Ruto, led soldiers in paying tribute to former Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, at the Ulinzi Sports Complex in Nairobi. Other senior government officials present included Defense Cabinet Secretary Aden Dwale, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, Chief Justice Martha Kome, Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome, and Azimio Chief Raila Odinga. Others include National Intelligence Service Director General Nurdin Haji and a host of Cabinet Secretaries, members of the Diplomatic Corps, among others. All eulogized General Ogola, is a humble individual despite his high rank that gave him authority over all military matters. Joel Rabuko Gola, speaking on behalf of the family, mourned his father as someone who loved his family, his nation, and above all, feared God. Somewhere in that helicopter wreck is his Bible, which was his most precious possession. Anyone who worked with him in DHQ, MAB, LAB, wherever, can attest that he always had a Bible with him. And I am hoping they are able to retrieve it from the accident. I don't want to keep it as a memento and for the rest of the family as well. Rabuko urged soldiers who worked with his father to sustain the fight against terror and banditry. His successor as Chief of Defense Forces, Lieutenant General Charles Kahariri, described him as a man of firm stand and who adhered to all professional ideologies, a sentiment that was echoed by Defense Minister Adin Dwale and Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi. As we bid farewell to, Ger to General Francis Ogola, let's honor his memory by upholding the values he held very dear. Loyalty, honor, and service to our country. And to the Kenya Defense Forces, let us uphold the unity and the camaraderie he championed through his motto, one force, one mission. General Gora, despite being a very tough general and commander, who is celebrated for his various accomplishments, was also a very humorous man. He was full of very good jokes, and many a time in tense situations, he would make everybody feel comfortable. President Ruto, while remembering the steps that led him to appoint the general as chief of defense forces, cited his professional achievements, regretting that Ogola would not live to see his strategies to improve the military during his tenure get actualized. It is most unfortunate that the crash has robbed this nation of fine and dedicated patriotism whose ability, professionalism and dedication was self-evident. He's passing away, and that of other gallant military personnel has saddened me deeply and the nation so much more. The president promised to improve military equipment to ensure that incidents like the one that led to General Ogola's death do not reoccur. We still must do the utmost to make sure that we protect our men and women in service. And part of what General had planned is the modernization of equipment that is being used by our military. It is unfortunate that he passed on before we could accomplish the plan that we had. I want to commit to our military officers, men and women in uniform like the way we are doing with the police, we now have a clear plan on how to modernize the equipment that is being used by our military. Azimio leader Raila Odinga has called for a swift investigation into the cause of the accident. A lot of rumors are flying around all over. We want these rumors to be put to rest. And this can only happen if there's a thorough investigation to tell us the cause of the death, how that plane came down. After the memorial service, military traditions to bid farewell to their leader were conducted, including a minute of silence, a fly-past dubbed Fallen Man Formation, and a 19-gun salute.
The departed Foster General has just received a full military honor ceremony right here at Ulinzi Stadium. And next is his burial ceremony tomorrow at his hometown in Sierra. For K24, I'm David Kagina.